been at Corinna here since we first bought this house with my parents, Harry and Mae Davis, in 1962. Before Christmas, Harry had bulldozed the site and got the road in, and the building went ahead very fast, and they built the pottery, which just burned down yesterday. <laughs> May and Harry met each other at Bernard Leach's Pottery in St Ives in Cornwall and May had her own exhibitions in pottery uh, that she'd been doing for a while before she arrived there and Harry, she went there as a kind of student and Harry was there as a worker and they met there and um, yes, yeah, so this has been a lifelong partnership they have never done anything else other than pot um, so yes, they built that pottery together and they made a living and raised a family here, being potters. But uh, Merrick Smizek was potting here and there were not many others. We arrived in 62 and um, Peggy and Jack Laird arrived very soon after and set up Waimea Potteries. And since then, all sorts of people have been attracted to Nelson. There's certainly a lot of potters. We came, not because we knew anything about this, um, but because my parents had looked up the geology of New Zealand and the Birmingham Museum and ascertained that Nelson was by far and away the best place if you were looking for raw materials to make glazes and clays. It's got everything. It's so geologically diverse. Very much domestic wear, very much um, stuff that should be affordable to regular people to eat out of every day. And at that time, that's the sort of thing people wanted. They would buy dinner sets of pottery like this in these kind of colours. Um, and, and they would eat out of it on a daily. It wasn't something to put on a shelf and it, it wasn't expensive. And um, yeah, that was the, they, were, they were craftspeople. This is the steps up to the front veranda and this room here was a wooden floored glazing room and the throwing room was there. Machinery, blunger, pug mill, rock crusher and all that at the right hand end and then the big area in the centre was this massive kiln with a two firing chamber, oil fired and over there on the other side of the road you can see the oil tanks and of course the chimney. They had the huge kiln. It took 36 hours to fire and it took a lot of work to load and to, you know, so they weren't frequent. So it was a very memorable and exciting day when, you know, Harry couldn't wait to open it up and get the first pots out and see how it had, had gone. And, and I worked loading that kiln, I worked on glazing, I worked with my mother and yeah, and my, my sister worked here, my sister Nina, she, she is a potter in Teal Valley. This is one of her mugs and um, yeah, so it's a lot of family history that's just gone up in flames. <laughs>